With SolidWorks Electrical's ECAD MCAD collaborative abilities, you may have seen how your electrical parts can have smart mates added that allow the parts to mount on DIN rails or doors when putting together your project assembly in 3D. To set up these mates, you simply enter the electrical component wizard, go to the mates section, and here we'll select the DIN rail option, defining the faces by selecting which part of the rail the faces would meet. But what about parts that aren't meant for DIN rail or door options? parts like connectors or ring fork or ferrule terminations. While you're always free to place parts and then set up mates as you go, it saves time in the long run to take a minute and build in smart mates on your parts to later save time and effort. Get started adding your smart mates by going to insert, reference geometry, mate reference, and get to work picking your three mates. Let's take a look at this header and plug configuration. We can use any planar geometry and assign the various faces with coincident relationships. Here we'll pick the bottom face as the primary, then the plug side and socket wall as the secondary and tertiary mates. Picking the corresponding faces on both the plug and the socket will allow them to mate automatically when they're in the assembly together. If you want to get a little more advanced, we can use the three main planes or define additional planes based on part geometry. Here we'll add a plane centered about the pin socket. We add a coincident relationship on those added planes and the parts will perfectly center about that feature on placement. For circular parts it's even easier, just select the matching faces or add a plane, set to coincident just as we did before, then choose a secondary concentric relationship on the circular feature. Test out the parts in a simple assembly space and correct for overdefined or misaligned mates. Now watch your next project build up with precise part placement and less time spent on moving and mating.